Hello everyone. Welcome to Voice of the Wild, an environment and wildlife podcast initiative by Naturalist Foundation. This is the second season episode 5 of the podcast. With this podcast, we bring you closer to the world of wildlife conservation, scientific research and government environmental policy. I am Vanishi Naik and today I have some really interesting topics for you. This episode is all about conservation and sustainable living. Firstly, we'll be talking about 70 new species of alpine plants discovered in the Rohtang Pass of Manali, and the credit goes to the hard-working scientists and the government efforts, along with the lockdown playing its role. Now, along with the government efforts, it's really important to go sustainable in the 21st century. And while talking about that, what's better than sustainable fashion? Lastly, we had to talk about Maharashtra announcing their first state mangrove tree. So without further ado, let's get started. Want to know some exciting lockdown news where one can say that nature is healing? One such news comes from Rohtang Pass Manali. On 31st July 2020, some scientists made an astounding discovery at the Rohtang Pass. Rohtang Pass is a place at Manali, Uttarakhand. And as we all know, Manali is one of the favorite and well-known tourist destinations of our country. Rohtang and its surrounding area along with the highway have been found covered with many wild medicinal flowers. Before the discovery, only 50 species of plants were found at the location, whereas similar studies which were conducted 10 years back noticed even less than 50 species. But recently on 31st July 2020, 17 new species of alpine plants have been discovered by a team of scientists in this area. K.S. Kanwal, a scientist with G.B. Panth National Institute of Himalayan Environment, which specializes in environment impact assessment, said that he and his team have discovered 70 species in Rotang. He said that many of the flowers recorded are medicinal plants like Prichrohiza kuroa, also called as kadu, Aconitum heterophyllum, Rheum emodi, Burgenia strucae, Achillea millifolium, Rhododendron anthophagon, and Anemone obsusiloba. The occurrence of these medicinal flowers is a great sign. Furthermore, recording endangered blue poppy, that is Meconopsis echolatia, also known as the queen of Himalayan flowers, in good numbers is a good news. He and his team are continuing with the examination of the species recorded. The scientists have commented that this finding at Rotang and many more to be recorded is a great potential for the state and the country. It is important to keep the area under observation for now. Another scientist, JC Kunyal, who is the head of the Center of Environment Assessment and Climate Change at Uttarakhand Center of the Institute, for the past 26 years has been conducting various environmental related studies. said that he had never in his 26 years of research at Rotang seen such luxurious growth of plants and flowers he further said i received pictures from the scientist ks kanwal this is amazing the intervention of ngt support of lockdown and low pollution have reflected the richness in plant diversity on the pass gb panth institute had also alerted the ngt about the pressing environmental issues in rotang and the tribunal took some tough decisions to save the local ecology surely the lockdown has proved to be a boon for the rotang pass besides areas of wilderness these alpine plants have started to bloom wherever there was empty vegetation due to the tourist movements decreased tourist and vehicular movements due to the intervention of the ngt and now the covid-19 pandemic has resulted in such rich biodiversity of flowers to come forth K.S. Kanwal added, less anthropogenic activities in the area have created favorable conditions for these alpine plants to grow. Himalayan Regional Center of GBPNIHE is currently implementing a project along with the support of Mountain Division of the Institute for In-Situ Conservation of Threatened Alpine and Sub-Alpine Plants found in the Himachal Pradesh. Rotang Pass is one of the great examples where conservation efforts from the government and the work done by the scientists have resulted in such vivid biodiversity to bloom. 
This news also gives us the message that our tourism sector needs to be more environmentally friendly and truly enjoy nature's beauty without harming it. Talking about the latest trends, it seems like sustainable fashion is the new hit. Many companies are coming out with their own versions of sustainable fashion. As we all know, the textile industry has always been known for wreaking havoc on the environment between processes to make the clothing and the waste that it produces when it gets tossed out. So brands and consumers alike have taken a much needed interest in improving these issues. With the increase in the amount of pollution and the deadly effects of the same being visible to us humans, we have started to become more aware. For that matter, the COVID-19 pandemic has been a great eye-opener. The industry has now realized that including conservation and sustainability in fashion would not cause any kind of losses, but rather set a new example and a trend. Brands like Levi's, Ralph Lauren, H&M have also joined the trend. Companies are now coming up with recycled polyester, 96% low water usage and even the most unimaginable like the plastic waste jeans. Looking at the increasing demand for sustainable fashion or ethical fashion, it wouldn't be a fair opportunity if the leather industry did not join in. We all know about the kind of unethical practices that go on into the manufacturing of leather. But what if we told you that the companies are now coming out with vegan leather, which is exactly as durable and textured as mainstream leather, but more ethical and better. We are not talking about the fox leathers that we get from polyester fabric, but this type of new leather is made out of cactus fiber. Mexico-based entrepreneurs Andrian Lopez and Marte Cazares have developed a new method of transforming cacti into a leather-like material that is just as durable and textured as the genuine article. The finished products are elastic and breathable. Almost anything can be made out of vegan leather without the added price tag of genuine leather. And it is great for environment, being an important step towards slow fashion. This alternative brand has been given the name Deserto, which is fitting considering that cacti inhabit the desert. Deserto is the first organic leather made from the nopal, that is prickly pear cactus. Some claim benefits of this sustainable leather are said to be biodiversity enhancement of the region, enrichment of soil microflora and native organic cactus afforestation, huge savings in water as no irrigation is needed for cactus farming, environmental preservation as no chemicals and herbicides would be used. Cactus is left unharmed to enable repeated harvesting from the same plant. Energy savings are also a great opportunity. No cross-industry conflict is set to occur because the byproduct of this industry would be directed to the food industry. Full vision and traceability of the farm is going to be ensured by the company for sustainable social practices. This big shift in the fashion industry marks for a big change in the mindset of the consumers. When talking about safety and preservation of the planet, every little step counts. And inventing an alternative to leather is certainly no small achievement. So before I start talking about today's topic, let's first talk about symbolization. In today's world, we have a symbol for so many things, including peace, love, health, and almost every random thing around us. Why is it so? Why is it that creating a visual symbol is such a widespread concept? A symbol, being rather simplistic, can give out what a thousand words cannot. When you look at a red heart, it automatically has the ability to get you to remember a loved one. Or even a spectrum of thoughts can be provoked by just that small symbol. This explains exactly how visual our brain is, which acts like the main reason for states and countries to have multiple symbols. Take for example India. The tiger is our national animal. This soul move has created a good amount of awareness among the people to have an affinity towards this carnivore. And now we pay attention to the alarming decrease in its population. The effect is so great that India has the greatest population of wild tigers in the whole world. So now coming to the point. 
Maharashtra has declared Sauracia alba or wild chippy as their official mangrove tree. And this is the first official mangrove representation in our country. This seems like a really great move on the part of the Maharashtra government. This decision was taken during the meeting of the recently constituted State Board of Wildlife, that is SBWL, last Friday. First proposed in the mid-2018, SBWL's approval has come after two years. The importance of mangroves is still not known to many, and thus its conservation also goes often overlooked. This symbolization could possibly remind the layman that a coastal state like Maharashtra could have been a total havoc if it wasn't for these mangroves. We are all aware about the kind of mangrove destruction that takes place in many coastal states in the name of development. Be it the Coastal Road Project or the Mumbai Ahmedabad Bullet Train Project, mangroves are always taken for granted. This is quite evident as Mumbai alone had lost around 40% of its mangrove cover between 1991 to 2001. With these mangrove gone, a city like Mumbai will have no vital line of defense when natural disasters strike. This has been experienced in the past in the form of 2005 July floods. But the authorities are slowly realizing the urgency of mangrove conservation. A special mangrove cell was created in 2012, which was the first of its kind in India. The unit helps regenerate mangroves through a variety of projects. In 2015, a mangrove and marine biodiversity conservation foundation was created to conserve mangroves and coastal biodiversities throughout the coast of Maharashtra. This indicates that the state has tried to conserve mangroves and also spreads awareness about them. This time though, the state has taken one step further and assigned an official mangrove tree. The decision marks for a huge difference as the famous saying goes, better late than never. This tree would act like a great symbol for mangrove conservation and management. Though introduced to Maharashtra from the Andamans, white chippy is quite common on the coast of Maharashtra and occupies around 6% of the total mangroves in the state. It is one among the 20 mangrove species found in Maharashtra. Now the question arises that if it's about conservation, why not represent an endangered mangrove like the Xylocarpus granatum? The reason being that these trees are not something that the common person could connect with. They do not really associate with them on a daily basis, whereas a tree like the white chippy is commonly known by the locals. This would be a boost for awareness about mangrove conservation around the locals. The coasts of Maharashtra are densely populated by trees of Avicenia species. But the reason for choosing Sonaratia alba is the remarkably tall breathing roots, the nematophores. Their nematophores represent its resilience to climate change and the rise of sea level. Avicenia, which is presently the dominant genus, may fail the increase in sea levels. But Sonaratia, because of its longer nematophores, has the potential to thrive. It is as if the plant has instinctively equipped itself with a defense mechanism to fight future climate change. Thus, the tree would not only act like a symbol for mangrove conservation, but also a symbol for the planet's hope to thrive in the face of a changing climate. We need to make changes in our current methods of development and survival. We need to realize that there's no survival without nature, and erasing past mistakes is the only way out. I hope you all enjoyed this podcast. We will keep posting such content every week. Please like, share and subscribe or follow us and stay updated. Please support us on Patreon to show appreciation towards our young team that create and provide such informatic content for you. Link is mentioned in the description. Thank you and see you next time.